to jump for the table. That's how it ends? What is that supposed to mean? I mean, to be fair, I still don't understand this ending. It's supposed to be open to interpretation. For instance, I think that Tony dies when the guy comes in and shoots him. Why don't they show that? The critics argued about that for weeks after it aired. I mean, if we're going to talk about bad finales, I mean, Lost is awful. I can't believe it was just Gilligan's Island, you know, with smoke, monsters, and uh, time travel. You know, I can get behind that. Well, I liked it. And like I said before, this is all subjective. Game of Thrones? Ooh. Oh. There are exceptions to every rule. Mm. Quantum Leap 2. Scott Bakula deserved better. Speaking of Scott Bakula, the ending of Chuck has to be on the list. I, I mean, to spend so much time on the romantic subplot just to put it in the driver's seat and then just... Look, there are so many examples of great shows with bad finales, then which one was the worst? Oh, well, that's easy. The Sopranos. Why do you have to torment me? I don't understand. My, my therapist doesn't understand it. Hey, well, therapy didn't work out too well for Tony Soprano now, did it? Oh. Regardless, the ending makes no sense. I mean, who cuts to black in the middle of a scene? Oh, really, Olivia? What about the Mindy Project? Oh my god, Danny Castellano would beat out Ross Geller in a worst fictional man contest. I don't even want to talk about it. Oh, so you do hate something. Said, I don't want to talk about it. Hey, well, I mean, it's not nearly as bad as how I met your mother, all right? I mean, come on, all that build up with that yellow umbrella for nothing? The entire last season, just to go back to Robin. That show took my early 20s from me. <laughs> Imagine being so old that you have to specify which side of your 20s a show stole from you. And it's gonna happen to you, too. Did you forget to take your meds today, Clayton? Olivia, they just changed his blood pressure meds. You can't poke him too hard. Okay, back on track. How I Met Your Mother still is probably in the top 10, but if we're really talking about the worst, I gotta go Game of Thrones. Such a fantastic show ruined by such a terrible flop of an ending. Starbucks, cups, on set. Well, I just thought uh, there was a Starbucks in Winterfell. Uh, Clayton, there was a dragon underneath the cup keeping it warm. That's just a fan theory. The real issue is how the hell Bran the Broken became king. And how they assassinated Daenerys' character in two episodes. After her first dragon died, we pretty much saw her slip into madness. If anyone believes that John and Danny were really going to have dragon babies, who are they kidding? George R. R. Martin even said that Bran was going to be king. Jamie and Brienne deserved a happy life together on Tarth. Well, I mean, that's just because he was getting over a painful breakup with his sister. Well, if Game of Thrones was so bad, then why was House of the Dragon one of the best rated shows on TV? Well, that's because they had to make it good so that people would be interested in watching it. Well, that and Game of Thrones made a boatload of money for HBO. Well, yeah, just like every other company writing whatever will make them the most money. Coming from the Marvel addict herself. Listen, Marvel has a tight writing team. They know what they're doing. <clears throat> what about Loki? Well, I just think his one true weakness was he loved himself too much. I am so tired of him always taking one step forward and two steps back. I mean, I'm 10 years of character development erased just to make him a literal self-obsessed and static character in his own show. But I, I just thought he was a uh, shapeshifter. Oh my God, you really are that obtuse, aren't you? I swear, I don't actually know what that means. Anyways, I mean, these were all pretty bad, but nothing compares to Star Wars Resistance. Well, that's only because it got canceled. Because no one watched it. The entire thing was terrible. You know, you're just being obtuse on purpose. Nuh uh! Green Moose Squabba Juice! Wait, are you having an episode? What about Supernatural? Dean Winchester being taken out by a rusty nail? 15 seasons, and Tetanus gets him? I'm just happy they were from Kansas. I never even finished the show. I stopped watching after Balba Dad. That makes so much sense, Clayton. Well, that's just because Clayton's relationship with Bobby was probably something really special. You know, he... Who? 
Who are you people? And why are you in my house? I wish I found some better sketches no one's ever seen. I wish I had a better team that wrote funniest scenes. I wish I had some gags in an order that is new. I wish I didn't need a shtick just to get me through. I was told when I get older all my fears would shrink, but now I'm insecure and I care what critics think. I shall sketch out and I care what you think. I shall sketch out and I care what you think. Wish we could turn back time